This week, the world's biggest online airgun show is taking a look at the amazing Knights at NS200 unit. Plus, how it's revolutionised our vermin busting duties. Shooting rats, pigeons, rabbits, raccoons and any other type of vermin may look easy, but it's far from it. The main issue with these pesky blighters is they come out at night. If you flick a lamp across them, they scarper. So, the guys over at Nightsight sent us their NS200 model and asked us to see what we could do with it. Easy to put together, Mr Harford has gone through the process with you guys time and time again. It's such a simple but effective piece of kit. The four infrared illuminators in the front shine into the darkness but can't be seen with the untrained eye. However, they pick up on shapes out there in the darkness, no problem. The light bounces into your scope and is picked up by the camera unit on the back. That sends a signal up to the screen on top and those beady eyes now glow in the dark, as does the outline of the animal, clear as day. It not only allows you to spot your quarry in the darkness, but gives you enough time to be able to identify the animal in question. You place your crosshairs on the quarry and squeeze the trigger. Easy as you like. Here's a look at the Nightside NS200 and how it's aided our Armington. Way back in the early days of Team Wild, we took the NS200 up to Scotland shooting feral pigeons. Our very own Ian Harford saw the benefits of using night vision immediately as he blasted his way to a personal record of feral pigeons. Using his trusted Daystate Huntsman, Ian was able to pick out the pigeons in the dark without giving away his position or spooking them. From that day, the night sight has always been our first port of call for plinking vermin in the dark. It was also when we were at Rabbiton with the night sight that we received a little attention from the long arm of the law. Mr. Wilde was bunny busting with great effect before we were brought in for questioning. Having used the night sight and put it through its paces, we then took a closer look at Ian's night vision airgun setup for winter 2012. For night vision, it's got to be the Nightsight NS200 unit. As you guys have no doubt seen, it's worked wonders so far this year for Team Wild and makes hunting at night so much easier. We've taken plenty of foxes and rabbits with the NS200, as well as peering at a deer earlier on this year. It's easy to set up, and with its brilliantly clear sight picture, this piece of kit is a must-have for anyone out hunting at night. Myself and Wildy like the sound of that. So, we took the night site and our day state huntsmen's out to help with a pigeon problem on a building site in Nottinghamshire. In absolute darkness, the night site NS200 allowed us to pick up birds we may never have seen with the lamp. Let alone our crosshairs before they could make a dash for it. With the same combo, myself and Wadi then helped out with a massive rat problem on a Derbyshire farm. The rats were crawling over the pigs as they lay in the stars, and as soon as we flashed a lamp on them, they were gone. With the NS200, we lay in waiting. With the crosshairs fixed on some of their well-worn little footpaths, we were able to pick them off one by one. Aided by a little rat bait, we managed to draw them out and take them down. The lightweight and quiet combo of the air rifle and the night sight worked a treat picking off tiny critters and vermin in the British countryside, but had never been tested with the big boys. So, Mr Harford loaded up his NS200 and took it across the pond to the home of everything big, Texas. Heading out for the first time with L3 Outdoors head honcho, Joshua White, Ian showed the Texan how to fit the night sight to his Benjamin Road 357 Big Boar Behemoth. With the NS200 being new to Josh, Ian let him squeeze off a few rounds at a target, just to see how easy it is to shoot with. The pair of them then set off into the night looking for a problem pests of a slightly bigger nature. Feral hogs. The guys at L3 have always used dogs, and more often than not a knife. However, armed with the NS200 and Benjamin Rogue, they managed to stalk into a pair of hogs, remain hidden in the darkness, and take the shot. The night sight passed its first big test. 
Next up, Ian travelled across the Lone Star State to look for another bigger quarry. This time it wasn't a pest, but an animal that did need managing. Ian helped a small farm with its culling of a seeker deer, and this time using the Day State Wolverine 303. The pair got the job done with ease, and the seeker can be easily seen in the darkness with very little ambient light. Later in the year, Ian took off on his redneck road trip around the southern states of good old US of A, and the Nightside NS200 was one of the first bits of kit in his luggage. Armed with the NS200 and Daystate Wolverine, Ian managed to take out problem rabbits, raccoons, beavers, and more rabbits. L3's Josh White was so impressed that he got himself a night sight and made it a vital part of his hog hunting business. He used his own air rifle and night sight to great effect tackle a good sized problem porker. Back in the UK, Ian decided to have a little fun with the night sight and set about blasting a few exploding targets for good measure. Not the most scientific of tests but fun nonetheless. Ian has even begun using his night sight NS200 during the day, as seen with his Barbados Ram. And now, the night sight NS200 is used by Team Wild around the world for any type of airgun hunting, be it day, or night. If you want a cheap, reliable and effective night vision solution for Boston Furman that fits onto your current rifle and scopes out, you can't go wrong with a Nightsight NS200 on any air rifle. And now, Nightsight are extending the range and bring out even more night vision solutions to the market. To check them out, visit nightsight.co.uk. All I can say is, look out critters of the night, Nightsight are out to get you.